So let me get this straight. You want to know why? Is that what you want to know? I don't owe you an explanation. As a matter of fact, you and I are no longer a team. You and I are no longer family. You and I are nothing. You understand me? You did what you did two years ago, and I did what I did. Enough said. This has nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing. Shut up. This whole thing has to do with Hogan. This whole thing has to do with Hogan. Hogan came out here and said, oh, I want Devon back. Oh, Devon is such a, uh, he's a great wrestler. He's a fighting champion. Hogan never called me. Hogan never texted me. And that little crap he put on his Twitter about, oh, I care more about Devon than anything. I want him back. You know what Hogan did? Him, Dixie, and TNA, they sat behind that desk and they did nothing. When I was down and out, the Brotherhood right here, Aces and Eights, they were the ones that had my back. They were the ones that picked me up. TNA and Hogan did nothing. Mark my words, this doesn't end here. I promise you, when everything is said and done, we will take out each and every one of the people that's done us wrong one by one so why don't you go home forget what happened and leave it be it's over it's done you're not even a threat anymore this is over when i tell you it's over And as far as what I did to you two years ago, you know exactly why I did it. It's between me and you, Devon. This is about me. You talking about Hogan and hiding behind these guys? You're a lying sack of crap and you know it. On the night that we were supposed to retire, we faced the Motor City Machine Guns. We should have retired as the World Tag Team Champions. We hit our finish. We hit the 3D. You covered Chris Saban and he kicked out. Nobody has ever kicked out of our finishing move. Nobody. In 15 years, in ECW, in WWE, in WCW, in Japan, not one single wrestler ever kicked out of our finish. But they kicked out on you. And here's the part about it that nobody knows, Devon, that you never thought that I would tell the world. When we sat in that locker room, and I had my head in the ground, because I felt like crap. I thought we let each other down. I thought we let them down. Do you remember what you said to me? Did you remember? Because it's emblazoned in my head. I will never forget what you said. You said, Bubba, what the hell's the big deal? What are you so worried about? We're rich. Screw the fans. Wait a minute. I want you to deny it. To have, deny that you ever said that. Deny it. That's why I did what I did to you. Deny it. I dare you. I can't deny it because it's true. Screw them idiots. I can give a damn about them and those people at home. You know something? We are doing far too much talking here. Me and you were never much on talking. We were all about fighting. Damn right we so were. So why don't you do this? Why don't you get rid of the guys that you're hiding behind and me and you fight right now? Oh, you want me right now? Right now? Tell them to leave. Me. 
Leave the ring. Get rid of them. Me and you, I want to kick your ass so freaking bad I can taste it. Let's do it. I'm down. No. You see, it's not on your time. It's on my time. So why don't you get your head out of your ass and stop thinking that the world revolves around you. As far as I'm concerned, I will let you know when the time is right. For now, I'm going home. Wow, how about that, man? The sergeant of arms of Aces and Eights, Devon, takes his other five members of Aces and Eights, and they just bail? You know something? This is so typical of you. Because all your career, you've been nothing but a coward. You hid behind me. You had no balls then, and you have no balls now. Do yourself a favor. Next Thursday night is open fight night. I ain't gotta wait. I don't gotta think about it. I'm challenging you. Wow.